What's up guys? It's Online Blaze Boy and today I'm going to be showing you how to make these icons and these icons when you click them it opens up the program like says GIMP and it opens up GIMP. Now the program that we're going to be using to get these icons so called skins is called Rain Meter right here. Now Rain Meter is a really really beautiful program you can add a lot of skins not just this honeycomb thing but a lot of others. Now, to do this, first go ahead and open up Firefox or whatever browser you use. When you go and open up Firefox, go ahead and type into your search bar rainmeter.net, right? Once you have typed that in, go ahead and download the final release or whatever the release you have in your time period. I don't know, you must be watching like 2055, I don't know and download it and install it. Now once it's installed go ahead and type in DeviantArt okay so once you google it go ahead and go to the website deviantart.com and uh, type in rain meter honeycomb and, and search for it and you should get uh, this one by APM uh, click on that and click download once it clicks download if you have Firefox click open with rain meter or if you have another browser just save the file and open it up with rain meter now once you open up with rain meter I'm just gonna down uh, I'm just gonna open rain meter up uh, it's gonna basically show up this show this up it's honeycomb now and you'll have some stuff now stuff like uh, portal 2 uh, Assassin's Creed black flag Batman Arkham Origins this uTorrent logo, which I made, even though uTorrent's already there. Open Office, Desmume, all those things, they're not going to be there. But you can create them. Now, to create them, you basically just close this up and open your File Explorer. Once you've opened your spi uh, File Explorer, uh, you go into Documents, then Rain Meter, then Skins, and then Honeycomb. Now, you want to make your new icon first. So you go to go Add Resources, Images, and there you have all your icons. So, uh, today we're going to be making DS4 Windows, okay, the icon for DS4 Windows. So, we're going to go ahead and we're going to see something that suits our DS4 Windows style. So, I'm going to take a nice background color. So, you choose the color you want from all of these, which is already there. And I want something which is yellow. So, we take Caliber, we copy it, and we paste it. Now, rename this into what whatever you're making so in our case it's DS4 Windows right and click enter and open this with paint.net the link is down in the description so open up paint.net and it will open like this and uh, now what you want to do is go ahead and open up Firefox or whatever browser you have and search for DS4 Windows logo PNG. Okay, it doesn't have to be a PNG, just just search for DS4 logo. Windows logo. Alright, go ahead and images. Alright, it's not there. PNG. Okay, uh so there is a sort of logo right there. Um I'm gonna save image as and I'm gonna save it here. Right? Uh, done and we're gonna open this up so basically just open your file explorer go to where you saved it drag it all the way to paint.net leave it and click open the image don't click add layer click open the image once you've opened the image go ahead and use zoom to zoom in maybe that much uh, depending on your the size of your image then take the magic wand I'm gonna select this. I'm gonna Control C it. Now we can close this up. Don't save the image. If you want to, you could. And Control V right here. Okay. So if you want something that looks good and white, this is what you gotta do. Uh, first of all, Control C. Make sure that Control C is that you can delete this image, and then take your color picker. Pick this color. Paint bucket. Paint all of this in. Okay, so nothing's there. It's just oops. It's just this yellow background. Now we're gonna go ahead and paste this in. And we're gonna resize it. 
on whichever we want. Like that much. Okay. And give it save the file. Okay, you're gonna click save. And uh click auto detect and click OK. Now go ahead and close this up and you wanna go back to your documents slash rain meter slash skins slash honeycomb and now what you want to do is go ahead and create a new folder so I'm going to name it DS4 Windows because that's the name of the icon we're doing you're gonna uh, go ahead and basically go to Chrome copy this INI uh, file and paste it into um, the file you just the folder you just made which is DS4 Windows right here so paste it in there and click enter now, this will open it up in notepad you could change the name if you want to so DS4 Windows oops Windows I'm just gonna s copy this so oh that's DS dollar we don't want dollar we want DS4 Windows. I'm gonna copy this. Now you're gonna make this into DS4 Windows because the PNG file which he named was DS4 Windows. You remember the one we just e edited? So DS4 Windows. Then you wanna go ahead and change this into your thing. You don't have to. You don't have to change this either. Uh, but I'm just doing it. Now this is where the tricky part comes in. So basically, what you wanna do is you wanna go where your DS4 Windows is installed, and you go to DS4 Windows.exe. So I'm just gonna control C this and I'm gonna paste it in a notepad. So this Chrome EXE is gonna be selected and I'm gonna control V it right there. And then I'm gonna put forward slash DS4 Windows dot EXE. And it has to be the same spelling as the executable file right there now what you want to do is just close this and click save make sure you click save and you could close this and you could close whatever you want to close uh, you close that I close that now what you want to go and open up rain meter manage just open up rain meter and go to honeycomb and click refresh all then you go there and you will see that your DS4 windows should be there open that up it says chrome the I and I you could change the file name I just didn't do it and there you go that's DS4 windows for you so now, just to show you that it actually works, you're gonna click it and boom, it opened up DS4 Windows. Okay, so thank you guys for watching and uh, leave a like, comment, subscribe. I hope this helped you and I will see you in the next video.